Hi guys, so in this session we will see how we can push our project from the local machine to the GitLab repository using the Visual Studio Core and this time we will use the integrated terminal available in the Visual Studio Core. So first I will open the project that I want to push. So I will open the folder for the project that I want to push. Okay, so once your project is opened in the Visual Studio Code, just go to the terminal and click on new terminal. Okay, so first command we are going to use is git init. So this will initialize a empty git repository on the local machine. So currently if you check the status in that uh, local git repository, there is nothing. Okay, so all these files are not a part of our local git repository. Okay, so how we can do that? Git add space dot. That means I want to commit all the files in this project. Then I will use git commit. Ipenium double quote give some message. Let's say nothing to commit. That means everything is committed in your local git repository. Now we need to set the remote git repository URL uh, to which we need to push this project. So this time we are going to push to our GitLab repository. So I will click on new project. Click on create blank project. Here I will give some project name. And I will click on public. So our project is created. Now we are going to use the SSH mechanism to push our project from local to this uh, GitLab repository. So what we have to do is go to the terminal again. First we will add the remote git remote add origin space and here we need to provide the ssh url of your gitlab repository so click on clone and uh, copy the ssh url paste it here hit enter so if we try to push directly without any authentication it will give you the error okay let's try that so this is the error we are getting. So first we need to add the uh, public SSH key in the GitLab repository and private key will be available on your local machine. Okay. So using these two combination public key and private key we will be able to push our project from local to the GitLab. Okay. So first go to the GitLab. Click on this uh, profile icon and go to the preferences. So from here you will find this option SSH keys. So we don't have any SSH key added here. So I will click on add new key and here we need to add the public key. Okay. So first we need to create the uh, private and public SSH key on the local machine. Okay. So how we can do that? Just open the git bash on your local machine. So now just run this command SSH hyphen keygen hit enter again hit enter. So it is going to create our key in this folder location. So I don't want any passphrase, hit enter, again hit enter. So now if you go to this location on your local machine, you will find two keys over here. So open this public key in notepad++ and copy this content. And in this key section, just paste that content. Okay, so I can give any title here. Okay, and usage type is for authentication and signing. And I can set any expiration date for this particular SSH key. Okay. So if I set the, let's say 29th only. So this key will be valid only for 29th July. After 29th, this key will be invalid. So I will click on add a key. So let's try to run the same command again. Git push hyper new origin master. Hit enter. So click yes. So here you can see all the files are pushed to our GitLab repository now. So now we can pull the changes from this uh, GitLab repository to our uh, VS code as also using the terminal. So first I will make some changes. Let's say in the pom.xml file, I will do some changes here. So I modified this file from the GitLab. So I want to commit these changes. So I will commit it on the GitLab. So pull those changes, just use this command git pull, hit enter. Okay, 
okay so there are two insertions and two deletions so we have uh, successfully pulled the changes from the GitLab repository to our VS code so this is how we can uh, push the project from the VS code to the GitLab repository using the terminal with the SSH key thank you